What's good guys, I'm John. And in this video, I'm gonna do something a little different. I thought we would take a look at the Line 6 Helix native software. So let's do it. Okay, so Helix native software, what is it? Well, according to Line 6's website, Helix native delivers the power and tonal authenticity of award-winning HX modeling technology in a plugin. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking all the sounds that are in um, the Line 6 Helix uh, pedal board and we're getting those sounds in a plugin. I believe also any of the tones that you make uh, in the plugin, you can then send to your Helix pedal board um, and get that. So it's sort of like the 500X edit software, only you can also like play through the software um, in a DAW. So it's pretty sweet, really powerful tool. This is the first time I'm using this software. My buddy Rod turned me on to it, told me I should check it out. Um, so I'm just giving it a, a try right now, seeing if I like it. And if I do, then I'll buy it with my money. Right now, I have Ableton Live pulled up on my computer. It's the DAW that I'm going to use. Uh, most like modern DAW should work fine. I did have to enable audio units to display under the plugins folder. So if it's not showing up, just make sure you have audio units enabled. And it's here. I'm just going to drag it in and drop it on an audio track. Okay, once it loads up, I'm just going to arm this track so that it's going to hear my guitar. And then I'm going to monitor it so that I can hear the audio. I'm just running my Gretsch Electromatic into my Personas audio box into the computer. I'm just direct like that. Coming from the perspective of the 500X and the 500X edit software, some of this does seem kind of familiar, you know, seeing the signal chain. Um, seeing the effects, some of the names are familiar to me. So this first preset that pulled up is this US Double Normal, which I'm gonna say is a Fender Twin Reverb. Let's just check out how it sounds. Sounds awesome. Sounds really clear, crisp, full. SX A30, just gonna guess this is like a Vox AC30. That's awesome. It's really responsive. It really feels like I'm playing a real amp. Brit Plexi Bright. This has got to be our Marshall. You know, it sounds like there's a noise gate on there. I don't hear any static. Sweet. Awesome. These are really awesome models. They sound great. Cali Rectifier. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to go through every single one of these. I'm just uh, just grabbing some of these first ones. Cali Rectifier. Clever there. This is going to be like our Mesa Boogie. Oh, check this out. Jazz Rivet 120, could this be what I think it is? It's close. Um, this has gotta be an amp model of the Roland Jazz Chorus. Uh, totally. Uh, that was one thing that I always was missing on the 500X, and it uh, looks like they have it on the Helix. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to be picky. It's not quite the full sound of a jazz chorus. There's just something really unique about a real jazz chorus, about the chorus effect on it. Um, it just is like one of the greatest sounds. Um, this doesn't quite nail it, but it's, it's pretty dang close. I like that. 
And then if we scroll down, it looks like we get some more heavier models here. The Solo, that's probably a Soldano. Probably some more Mesa Boogies. Cool. And then some other things. I'm not exactly sure what these, what all this is. Um, okay. So this preset column, this has all been, you know, an amp model plus some effects, you know, an all around sound, a full preset. Um, let's say we want to create this from scratch. What do we do? So let's go to set list. Let's just pick user one. In my user one set list, I just have a bunch of blank presets. So I'm just going to double click the first one. And it looks like we have a totally blank signal chain. Now I'm noticing this second signal chain down here, or at least I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm wondering if we could run like a stereo signal or, you know, two, two chains at once. You know, maybe we'll try that a little later, but for now, let's just start by making one sound. So this little, these squares, these must be all of our effect blocks. So I'm just going to click somewhere around here, kind of in the center. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in an amp. So if I come down here to this edit tab, scroll amp and cab, sure. Let's just kind of do this quick and dirty here. Scroll through. Okay, for this, let's just go S6A30. I'm assuming this is a Vox AC30. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, for the cabinet here, just gonna scroll down, looking for some green backs. They got two different kinds. Uh, let's see what these are like. Sweet. So you can uh, see here some of the different cabinets and speaker configurations that you can do. And then of course, you know, if we want to get specific, we could tweak a lot of these different settings. You can choose a different mic, uh, can choose the distance away from the amp the mic is, um, some of these other things. All right, that's cool. Let's just stick with that for now. Let's add some effects in here. First things first, let's just add like a boost pedal, some kind of distortion. This is really cool. They've added in like a lot of really cool, um, just like legendary effects. Um, a lot of effects that work on the 500X. So that's, that's really cool. Like this Minotaur, that must be like a Klon Centaur. That's really cool. Just scroll through here. You can kind of get an idea of what's all on here. Cool. I'm gonna just stick with, you know, the classic. Just go with this Tube Screamer. Let's hear how this sounds. power button up top to turn the effects on and off. Let's throw in, let's go for reverb first. Okay, here's mono. Oh, look at that. So they, they organize these reverbs in mono, stereo, legacy. What is legacy? This is what it looks like on uh, the 500X, kind of like this. And you would pick them. Stereo, plateau, shimmery. Maybe you guys recognize what some of these are. I'm just gonna stick with legacy for now. And just go a plate. I'm literally just recreating the same preset that I make in all the 500X videos. Is that too much for you? In my headphones, it sounds like a little bit much. Mix, I got decay. Stick with that. How does it sound after? All right, I'm going to run it after. That sounds a ton better now. When I'm playing with the real amps, though, I like to run my reverbs just like straight into the amp. But in this modeling software, it sounds better after. Okay, uh, let's throw in a delay. Oh, I love this. Under the bu Bucket Brigade is like a Boss DM2. Nice. And then of course, Elephant Man. Memory, memory, right? Elephants have good memory. Memory Man. Yes. 
I love that they even add the modulation to it. With that sorry i'm mixing this with headphones so some of these effects sound really prominent so if it's a little quiet for you uh over speakers i'm sorry cool 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 this is sounding really good honestly the latency isn't that bad um let's see where i have it set here oh, sorry i gotta move this i'm, I'm pretty low I'm, I'm pushing it i'm only at 64 samples so uh depending on how much processing you're doing um that, that could probably overload your system pretty quick. Like if I started adding in a bunch of tracks and was um, working with a you know pretty large project, that might not be enough buffering. But for right now, it sounds pretty good. I mean, honestly, like if you wanted to, you could probably perform with this live. You know, you could have a laptop running this VST, um, your audio interface and uh, just plug into the PA and yeah, you could totally do that. It'll probably sound pretty dang good. All right, well, cool. I'm sure that I could save it at this point. So what would I do? Maybe these dots? Save to disk, save to library? I'm assuming this would just save it to a file on my computer. Let's do save to library. We're gonna call this, whoa, John's awesome spelling. John's awesome pre, oh, that's all it's gonna give me, um, preset. What, John? Okay. Yes. Boom. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm really curious about this second chain here. I wanna see if we can get something going here. If I click this X, input, could I just do host? Input gates, okay, we're just gonna stick with that. What if I drop in an amp? I'm really stoked right now because using the 500X, I've always wanted to run my, my, my real amp combo. And I've talked about this in a lot of videos, but when I run real amps, I run a Vox AC30 and a Roland Jazz Chorus. And I've never really been able to pull off the whole duo because the 500X doesn't have like a, a built-in Jazz Chorus. I mean, I could just like create, you know, using a chorus effect, kind of like do it, but I, I'm really, stoked that like this helix software has this in here so i just want to see what this would sound like so first off let's just test and see if this is actually working uh i feel like i'm not hearing the chorus i wonder if the chorus has to be an effect i add to it unfortunately without the chorus the jazz chorus is a very flat sounding solid state and i want to see do they have a boss chorus ensemble yes they do and i put it in the wrong spot dang it thank goodness they have an undo button okay click click boom And then uh, let's throw on some reverb on it. Um, legacy. I guess just play it. That's a little different than the built in reverb on the jazz chorus, but I, I like how that sounds. Anyways, oh, you know what? You didn't tell me. I put the delay on top of the reverb. I think that's. Uh, something I'm probably gonna do a lot. Okay, let's go back. We'll just go like that. Okay, turn this on. Turn that on. I'm not sure. Is this automatically gonna right left it for me? No. So let's just go left. I'm doing a hard pan left hard pan for the AC30 and then a right hard pan for the jazzy chorus.
awesome. Really impressed with this Helix Native plugin. This is a really awesome tool. Seriously, if you do a lot of guitar recording, this is worth looking into. Again, thank you, Rod, for turning me on to this thing. Uh, go check out New Vices, give them a listen on Spotify. And uh, if you found this video helpful at all, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, what are you doing not being subscribed? Come on. And uh, until next time, see you later.